I'm really excited for you. And actually, I will say a little bit jealous because you are drumming uh, for Robert Cray right now in the Robert Cray band. Tell me a little bit about how long you've been playing with Robert and how, when did you get the gig? How'd you get the gig? Oh, right on. Um, well, yes, I, I am very uh, excited and fortunate to be on the road with Robert Cray. He's uh, a legend and he's an amazing guy. Um, so I've been on the road with him for about a year and a half now, probably a little over a year and a half. Uh, I started with him, uh, what is it, January of 2017, I got the call. And then I started on the road with him, I think that following March. So I uh, got the call January 9th, which is my birthday. He didn't know that. So yes, yeah. So he, he called and... Um, it was a huge surprise. And, um, but the way I got the, the, the initial opportunity was my mentor, Steve Jordan was cut. They were cutting the newer record, uh, Robert Cray and high rhythm. They were cutting that record in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And I got a call from Steve and he was like, Hey man, where are you, where are you, you know, where are you and what are you doing? And I was kind of catching up with him and he was like, you want to play with Robert Cray? And I was like, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> that's it. Like that's the story. And so he was like, all right, cool. So I'll get them your info and blah, 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 blah. I was like, all right. And that's just really how it happened. And that was December of 2016. Wow. And um, then I just kind of waited around and, and uh, got a call from Robert January 9th. And he called and just super like amazing guy. Just called, you know, just sweet. And he just, he just said, you know, I would be honored to have you on the bandstand with us. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, wow, wow. I would be, you know, right. it, was, it was crazy. Yeah. And, uh, and so it just started from there. And they, they sent me a box of CDs, all of his CDs. Yeah. And uh, I put them all in the playlist on all my iTunes and things like that. Yeah. And basically had to learn 50 tunes wow. off the master list. And we didn't rehearse, showed up at the first show. And uh, we had a longer sound check than usual uh, allotted for, you know, for us to kind of work some stuff out. We that went down. Of, yeah. That was the rehearsal. It sounds that like. was the rehearsal. Yeah. Right. Wow. And, and it was just, I mean, this, this was like purely off of like him not really playing with me before, just going off the word of Steve. And it has a certain weight with it, you know. And so we showed up and I think we went down maybe 14 tunes and everybody was like, all right. That's, this is going to be good. And the rest is history. That's incredible. That's yeah. incredible. And so Steve had, had recorded the album yes. with him and was not able to go on tour? Yeah, I think, he, I think that was, he was either going, yeah, he was out with, going out with uh, John Mayer. Okay. He was out with John Mayer last year. Yeah, got it. Yeah. And, uh, and I, th I think, you know, Steve and Robert are very close. They're good friends. And Steve has worked with him and produced some stuff with him in the past. Okay. And um, I think it was just Steve suggesting like, hey, man, I, wa I want to get you a guy that I think could, could you know, yeah. whatever, you know. So um, I, I was just extremely humbled by that. I mean, yeah. um, Steve is a, is a huge influence of mine. Yeah. across the board and um not just in his drumming but how he handles business and mm -hmm. how he diversifies his different circles of working with different artists that has always been very like uh inspiring you know what i mean yeah so sure. so yeah so to to get get that call and to work with robert and be free to to be me yeah. has been amazing it's been amazing 